Hi, I'm gardening expert Michael Perry and I'm here at Denman where the WI hold a range of different cookery, lifestyle and craft courses. Today I'm going to show you how to build an edible flower and herb window box. I've been interested in herbs ever since I was just a kid, so it's particularly exciting for me to share my love of them with you guys and hopefully surprise you with a few new varieties in there. So when planting up a window box, there's a whole range of different ones on the market. So this one you see here is just about 14 inches in length and a few inches wide. And that means that it's compact and it could fit onto a windowsill or using the hooks at the back, you could then put it onto a balcony or into different areas of the garden or of course, have it freestanding on the patio or the terrace. It actually has an inbuilt reservoir as well, so you know that the water will drain away and it will stop your window box from getting waterlogged. But we're gonna to start to fill the window box with a good quality compost. Now, I always recommend that you spend the most you can afford on your compost because it doesn't make sense to spend less on compost, but more on your plants. Your plants need that very best start. I'm also gonna mix in some controlled release fertilizer. Now, this has got extra nutrients, that your plants will use over a six month period. So it really is a benefit. So I would highly recommend adding a fertilizer when you plant up. You're adding this at two teaspoons per 10 liters of compost. I'm also gonna recommend that you add in moisture control too. And you're gonna use this at the same rate. So two teaspoons per 10 liters of compost. And what this does, once the moisture is locked into the compost, you'll find that these crystals become bigger and they're almost like sponges that hold on to that moisture and mean that you need to water your container a lot less often which is brilliant because then we can enjoy our garden rather than spend all of our time caring for it. So into our window box we put in a couple of inches of compost and now we're going to layer that up with plants. I've chosen a range of herbs and edible flowers. The first one I'm going to place in here is thyme. Now this is traditional garden thyme and it has such a lovely, oh, strong fragrance, which is great when you're cooking meats, or you can also make it into an antiseptic gargle. And when I was a kid, I was always making all sorts of herb concoctions in my parents' garden. You'll see that thyme is a very compact plant as well, and you often buy it already in flower, and those flowers are edible as well as the foliage. I'm gonna put that into the edge of the window box here. So you'll see that I'm putting that towards the back because it's slightly taller than some of the other plants I have to plant into here. The next plant I'm gonna place into my edible window box is purple sage. Slightly different color to the usual green, but you can use it in all the same ways in the kitchen. Sage and butternut squash is a very nice combination, or you can also use sage with a range of different meats as well, or put a few in the salad because there's so much goodness in there for you. The next plant, which is one of my favorite Mediterranean style herbs, is oregano. Now this is incredibly pungent and it's just ready for a margarita pizza. So we're gonna plant that into the container here, slightly offset to the sage. Again, we're just planting those firmly into the soil, but we're not filling around with compost yet because we're pretty much planting this up as a jigsaw. So we're also gonna put some seed in later as well. The last plant we're gonna put into here, which is a herb, is flat-leaved parsley. Now I prefer flat-leaved parsley to the usual parsley because the flavor is a little bit more subtle. It's a little bit easier to eat as well. The cold parsley tends to be a little bit difficult to digest. Flat-leaved parsley, very easy to grow too and will last for many months in this window box. So we're gonna plant that into the side. So you see we've got our layer of herbs in the window box. So this is going to look great all through the season. Some of these are evergreen, some are not, but there will always be interest throughout the year. Now we're going to add a little layer of edible flowers. Now pansies and violas are edible and the, the leaves, um, the flowers have almost a succulent crunch to them. So they're a really interesting addition to salads or maybe on top of cupcakes or when you decorate a cheesecake. And so we're gonna dot those violas into the container at intervals as well. They're very easy to grow and you'll find that, you'll find that they flower most of the year as well. So they'll just keep on coming. And this is a very nice little variety with orange 
and purple flowers too. So I'm going to put four of those plants into the container along the front. We're then going to fill in those gaps with fresh compost. So we don't want any air holes around our plants because that could encourage rotting and waterlogging. So we're going to make sure all of those holes are filled and also firm around the plants at the same time. So filling in around that oregano. I can't wait to get that onto a pizza or into a Mediterranean salad. Maybe mix it in with a Greek salad as well. Really, really great when it's finely chopped or even dry some of your own and store it for the, for the winter months. So just filling in around that sage as well. And remember that's a purple sage. So that's a slightly different variety than you'd usually see as well. Now filling in around the thyme and the, <laughs> the fragrance is um, intoxicating from the thyme. Very, very gorgeous and attracts bees and butterflies to the garden as well. So just filling in around those edible flower violas as well. A few more dribbles of compost. So that is our completed edible flower and window box container, but we're not quite going to stop there because we want this to have a few annual herbs in as well. And these tend to be easier to grow from seed and it's not really worth investing in the plants because they tend to die off very quickly. So if you grow them from seed, you can use them when they're a little bit younger in leaf as well. And some of these seed varieties are more leafy as well. So you find that they won't run to flower as soon. The first one we're going to mix in is a little bit of coriander. So I'm going to mix just a few of those seeds into those little pockets that I've got around the plants. So later in the summer, we're going to have a lot of different herbs all in this little mix container, which is going to keep us prolonged interest, a whole range of different flavors as well. It's going to be absolutely incredible. So I'm just covering over those few seeds with the compost. So we put in a little bit of coriander in there and that's a variety called Calypso, which has lovely big foliage as well and a good flavor. We're also going to mix in some dill. Now dill is a very useful herb to add to your pickles or add it to um, different fish dishes too. And I'm going to put little sprinkles of dill around the back of the window box as well. And again, this is a newer variety, which is a little bit more leafy than older types. So it means that it's going to stay more compact with easier to use foliage and it won't run to flower and be very tall like some of the traditional types. Just going to fill that in with compost too. And then I've pretty much completed my edible flowers and herb window box. So look, you can see, looks very nice from every angle and it's ready to hang and more importantly, ready to use in the kitchen. So if you've been inspired by this planting, then please subscribe to us on YouTube or hop onto the WI website to see the whole range of videos that I've prepared for you.